Thank you for learning Siebel with the Siebel Hub. We have a unique, comprehensive and always up-to-date collection of Siebel CRM 2021 training classes. We can deliver live online and on-site training in the highest quality with the most experienced instructors. And we also offer a unique modular Siebel CRM 20 and 21 training. Follow the links in the description or on this slide to learn more and learn Siebel with the Siebel Hub. Hello and welcome to the 21.8 edition of the Siebel CRM update summary. So Siebel CRM 21.8 has been delivered earlier this month and here are the highlights. We have updates for the product configurator in terms of improved cash management and uh, session pooling. There is an update for triple SE users uh, since there is now a possibility to integrate with Office 365 in the cloud. Is a new enhancement for, in, for message broadcast. We have an update on test automation, a new version of Smart Answer, and the installer lays down a new Tomcat version 9046. So let's take a look at each enhancement uh, in detail. Product configurator enhancements are twofold. First, there is a new set of fields in the cache administration view, allowing administrators to define routing of customizable products with bundled promotions to remote instances of the Siebel product configurator object manager. And session pooling is a new feature. So you have now a new system preference, which you can turn on or off. It's eProt CFG session pooling with a yes or no flag. If that is enabled, administrators can configure session pooling for the product configurator object manager for improved performance. For details, check out the 21.8 or later performance tuning guide. A triple SE or SSSE is a product to integrate with Exchange Server. It has been around for quite a while. And with 21.8, it's now possible to integrate with Office 365. Uh, the bookshelf Siebel Server Sync Guide 21.8 or higher has the details on this one. Along with that comes a new business service, the triple SE Azure UI business service. In the message broadcasting area, the uh, Siebel Applications Administration Guide tells us that there is a new field available, uh, message broadcasting slash max message count. Uh, that field has to be added manually to the user preferences BC and then has to be exposed in the user preferences applet so that administrators or users can set it. Uh, Siebel Test Automation has undergone a significant but small change. So there is a new test execution plugin, a new version of the STE.HPI plugin, which is delivered with the Siebel server in, uh, binaries. If you re-upload that plugin in your Jenkins instance, it has now a parameters field. And the only parameter documented or supported at this point is report level. And if you set report level to zero in the Jenkins run, then the DISA instances, which uh, have to be updated to 21.8 as well to understand that parameter, a report, but it will be significantly smaller. It will just contain a summary and no detailed steps. So uh, no detailed input values are recorded, no detailed timings, and no screenshots are provided. So essentially turning the report level down to zero. This is also available in the unit mode. Uh, when you play back single test scripts from the Siebel client, the uh, login prompt displayed by DISA, again, 21.8 is required for this feature to appear. Uh, there's a new flag in that dialog, detailed report, and works the same way. You can turn it on or off. If we look closely at the update packages, uh, the first package, one of nine, always has a text file 
uh, media list file where you can see the content of each file. Um, we have printed the media list for 8.21.8 here on the screen. Notice that Smart Answer is now included, the Smart Answer installer that has not been present in the MDE package is now included. Uh, it is a new Smart Answer server called Limba by a third party provider and is included in the package 7 of 9. You might notice the absence of the ancestor repositories for upgrade, which are not included in 21.8. No problem, you would say, as you know, the ancestor repositories are pretty much static. So in case you want to upgrade to 21.8, either wait for Oracle to fix that or grab an older update like 21.7. Let's review the update paths. So um, we have information compiled here. What do you need to do when you want to update any version of between 17.0 and 21.7 to 21.8? Uh, the mandatory step is, of course, to run the MDE installer to update your version to the latest 21.8 version. It is also mandatory to run the post-install database update, which can be run automatically as part of the SES update in MDE. You have to run it once per database on the first Siebel server. We have a bunch of optional steps depending on your implementation. So you might require running the repository upgrade to bring in the non-mandatory repository and schema and C data changes. There might also be, depending on your implementation, a bunch of administrative changes including setting up the debug server or the 64-bit Java implementation for IMAP or POP3. The development or DR update process in a big picture mode. Uh, the non-gray area is the fast track. So you run the MDE, possibly with the post-install database update run automatically or manually. If you have no repository changes, then you're done. The test production or RR update process is a bit shorter since uh, we still have the mandatory MDE and post-install database update. Uh, if there are repository changes done in the DR, you have to migrate those repository and seed changes using the migration application. And also you have to implement administrative changes. For example, uh, DISA 21.8, including the new features for test automation, that's it with the uh, 21.8 update. Uh, thanks for watching and bye-bye. Till next time.